So over the weekend, the Labour Party introduced a policy. Now this policy sparked some interesting debate, but also one that truly intrigues me, because there is a positive to it, one I kind of can get behind, but it is the implementation and how one does it, maintains and manages that is, that has many questions. Also the fact that this is what appears to be a step back, in the sense that Labour wants to renationalise a lot of public services, but also create one. And the creation of this particular service is what I want to focus on today. Many people and voters are rightfully condemning this type of policy, but I do understand and actually appreciate aspects of it. Over the years, we have nationalised and then summarily privatised quite a number of services that have benefited the country that the country uses as a whole. To add to that, the Labour Party wished to implement a nationalised internet. British broadband, I think they were going to go with. And I kind of understand it. I actually think it's not a bad idea. But how they want to implement it, though, is a problem. To do so, they want to use Parliament to vote on how much they should pay BT to buy BT. BT, for those who are not British, is British Telecom. BT own the majority of the lines that run around this country for the internet. Labour's intention is to buy BT and repackage it, but also install good high-speed internet, fibre optic and beyond, in areas where it is not as easily and readily available. I'm sure many of you have watched my streams and have then gone on to press F because my internet has crashed. Well, Labour wants to make it fast broadband. Their interpretation of that is 30 megabits per second. Under BT, the most I get is upload up to 10, but I don't get 10, I get 4 at most, and download up to 30, I get about 15. The Labour Party's argument is that they intend to perceive how the future will play out by, and I'll quote this, seizing the means of production on the internet. One of their arguments was also that by doing so, they can then tax internet businesses a bit better so that they are then able to raise more money. It is alleged at this time that to create a British broadband, it would cost about £20 billion. How they would raise this money? Well, John McDonnell, the Shadow Chancellor, made it quite clear. To do so, they would borrow money. <sighs> I feel like a repeat from 1997 has occurred, but this time in the way of creating something I can actually support, but to do it, you are borrowing phenomenal amounts of money again, further proving that your policies are not so sound. Have you considered instead using what we have, getting rid of all the debt we have first, building our economy, building it so we don't have to borrow money, and then spending what we have earned instead? I last week equated Labour's policies to a short-term loan company where you would borrow and pay interest and be worse off afterward. I find it ironic for socialists that they're willing to abuse a capitalist society to achieve their dreams, something which maybe I'll flesh out into a proper thought in the near future. Many critics of this say it is a step back because whereas Margaret Thatcher sought to privatise to create more business, which is how it is perceived and argued by many, some obviously disagree, and that's fine, Labour want to seize most services and create a new one, one that I can understand and actually support if it wasn't for how they were going to implement it, and I'll go into that a bit more in a moment. They want to seize control of everything, and that is a problem. I can support it if we can afford it, but as we cannot afford it, we should not be getting behind it. Now, to further delve into the argument brought forward when it comes to how Parliament votes on this, BT is not a publicly owned company. They are private. And you, Parliament, are seeking to use legislation to take control. I cannot support that because, to me, that is an absolute smack in the face to freedom. I don't care who pockets the money as long as I get the service I pay for. If I don't get the service I pay for, then yes, we have a problem. As this campaign unfolds, it'll be interesting to see more of the policies brought forward by the parties. I know the Conservatives have been outed for laughing when a pay rise for nurses was voted against. I know that the Labour Party have had to count out the unions 
and renege on their 2030 carbon neutral pledge. So we'll get into those soon enough. <laughs> 